Hi gang, Scott Davenport here. In this video, a new feature in On One Photo Raw 2021, the Replace Color Filter. And it does exactly what you think it will do, replace one color with another. And really quick, if you're thinking about upgrading to Photo Raw 2021, maybe you're making your first On One purchase, please consider using one of the links below this video. No extra cost to you, and it helps support tutorial videos like this one. So let's have a look at this new filter. So this photo, I've got this really classic looking car, but maybe I don't want it to be blue. I want to change its color here. I'm going to add filter. I have a replace color filter. Now the way this filter is laid out is it's got two parts. I have my target color. That's the color that I'm going to sample in my photo, the color I want to change. And on the bottom, we have the color change swatch. That's my new color, the one that I want to have in my photo. So I'll reach for the picker and choose a color that I want to change. And so I want to change the tone of this car. I want the blues to become something else. And the something else we can choose with color change. We have the wheel, we can change the color. I can make this bright red. I kind of like this like really, really groovy purple kind of thing. You know, but you've got all sorts of tones. And as I move around the color wheel, I know this, this was a nice uh, surprise for me on Mac. Watch as I'm moving, you see hue, saturation, brightness, all of those sliders are changing in the lower part of the replace color filter. Uh, I'm not sure if that works the same way on Windows, but you can always go in and just adjust them as you like right in the tool itself and all that is happening real time. This is actually this kind of like turquoise teal kind of thing is looking good. Let's go ahead and just leave that colors down there. Now you may notice there are some bits of artifacting like the tires are picking up some of the color and even some of the the white wall. We have a few options here. We can change the range of our target color. Remember this is the color we picked. So if I reduce the range or you increase the range, we'll see changes. Let me reduce it really, really low versus really high. That's helping some, but I also have my masking tools. I can always get my masking tools. I have my brush, paint out, and I can just remove this color change from the tires. So just like any other filter we have in Photo Raw, we can do masking with replace color and you kind of get the idea. I'll clean that up in a little bit. And then depending on anything else, you might want to tidy up. Like if there's any kind of, you know, this, this, anytime you're taking a photo, you've got color, it'll, it'll, the light will bounce it around. It'll throw itself and particularly lighter colored things like the white wall in this tire will pick that stuff up. And you almost don't notice it until, well, until you notice it, until you, you accentuate it with something else. Yeah, so maybe I don't want it in the fender as well as much, and I can, I can brush that away from the fender. You know, and that nice chrome can just be, well, chrome. And so on down the line. And so I can work through the rest of this with my masking tools. And I get to still play, right? I can go back and say, oh, maybe I want it to be green. Maybe I want it to be this, you know, cool golden yellow. I have all those options available just by playing around with the color wheel or with the sliders in the replace color filter. So to recap that filter, you start by choosing your target color. That's the color in your photo that you want to change. Then you select your change color, the new color that you want to have, and then work the sliders. If you need to adjust the range of your target to broaden or tighten which tones are going to be affected, you've got all that control. And of course, you've got the masking. So it's a, it's a fun filter. And for you know subjects like this, it's a, it's a great choice to have a little creativity and a little uh, you know, artistic license with what you had on scene versus what you really wanted to have on scene. I hope you found it useful. Got questions? Go ahead and drop them below. And until next time, my name's Scott Davenport. Have fun.